1973 Corvette C3. First imported and registered in the UK in 2017, this car. 5.7 litre V8, automatic gearbox, white with the black convertible top. Lovely, lovely history file on this one. It's got Mallory electronic ignition. Some nice upgrades to it. Some sensible things done to this one. Like I say, a really nice history file. James will detail all the information like that on the website when we get that listing up there. 5.7 V8, this one. Really good colours. Body weight wise, I'm going to start off with the bonnet work our way around onto the interior. And then we'll fire it into life. Like I say, it is UK registered. Been in the UK since 2017. Good owners on this as well. And like I say, a nice history file. Body weight wise, we're going to go straight up the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we'll fire it into life. Straight up the bonnet there, no complaints, no nasty marks, especially for a fiberglass car. There's no ripples or dimples or anything nasty like that. Lovely and tidy all the way around the barge. Up the left hand side, please bear in mind it is left hand drive. Lovely and tidy down the bonnet scoop there, no complaints at all with that. As you come down the wing top on the left hand side, lovely and straight. All of them tidy around there. No scuffs or scrapes at all on the bumper corner. Across that lovely big nose cone, there's no crazing, there's no cracking at all to the plastic bumper or to the fiberglass. No chips around the lights, which is pretty standard on these. Not the issue on this one at all. Lovely and tidy, very, very nice white as well. It's a fresh looking white, this. That sounds a bit odd to say, but it really is a nice fresh looking white. Before I do the driver's wing, I'm just gonna nip up onto the roof. So James is gonna put it down for the interior. Roof's lovely and tidy. Loving clear all the way across, no delamination or yellowness or scratching, heavy scratching to the back window, loving taut all the way across the fabric. Really nice and straight on the roof there. So no complaints with that. Back onto the driver's wing again, no crazing at the front end there. As you come round the arch, no problems there at all. Lovely deep dish wheels with the chrome lips and hubcaps there center caps lovely and tidy all the way across there no complaints at all with that across the lower half of the alley trim all nice and tidy on the lower half and around the vents no stone chips or cracking no nastiness around the badge and no nastiness at all to the paint no heavy scratching at all really really nice fresh up and corvette this one as you come down that right hand side and around the handles, all nice and tidy. One or two little bits of pitting to the handle. Around the locks, good. No chips out the back edge of the door at all. Paintwork's lovely and flat down that right hand side door. And again, for a fiberglass car, not full of ripples at all. Onto the rear arch, right hand side. No complaints around the rear arch. No scuffs, no scrapes, no crazing, no cracking. Nothing really to complain about. Another lovely match wheel there. And you can see how straight it is down that left hand side there no complaints at all with that rear bumper the chrome works gorgeous on the rear bumper lights are lovely and clear again no crazing on the corners there or cracking at all across the back end onto the left hand side and again no crazing no cracking bump is lovely as well on the corners lights are lovely and clear no moisture in there with your luggage rack no complaints up the lid itself around the fuel filler caps all good that deck lid's lovely and tidy as well where the roof sits. No complaints across the deck lid at all there, all nice and straight. As we come back down onto that left hand side rear quarter and arch again, no crazing, no scuffs or scrapes coming through around the arch. Another nice wheel on the left hand side and lovely and straight down the left hand side again. No chips out the back edge of the door around the locker or around the handle. Lovely and straight, wing are all good as well. Alley trim across the lower half, nice and straight as well, all the way across there. A little bit of fading in the black line there. A lovely and tidy onto the front left-hand side wing and around the vents there. No complaints at all, sitting lovely and level as well. Body works very, very, very good on this one. Especially for a fiberglass car, no crazing on the corners. Crazing on bubbly corners. Yeah, exactly. Into the right-hand side there, door cards nice and tidy. No complaints with that. The seat itself's got a little bit of sun fade, a little bit of wear to the seat itself, a little bit of pinkness coming through on the seat, but it's right for the year and the mileage. Carpet set's nice. Got a little bit of wear on the armrest and the handbrake, but all nice and tidy. Dials are all good. Dash top's uncracked, which is very important. No cracks across the dash top there. Lovely and straight. The rear compartment there is all nice and tidy. We have got this little armrest there, all nice and tidy on the rear compartment there for your boot space. Lovely and straight. All the doors closed right as well. Nothing needs slamming at all. 
left hand side which is driver's side door cord again a little bit of a wear a little bit of a nick out the top there but apart from that a little bit of wear at the corner all nice and tidy carpet set's good seat's got no rips or tears at all to the seat but a little bit of sun fade once again all nice and straight across there a little bit of wear to the wheel dials are nice and clear as well into the engine bay now 5.7 litre v8 nice chrome Carb top on there, all nice and straight in there. James is going to fire it into life for us. Fire straight into life without hesitation there. It's on the automatic choke. And there you have it, the 1973 Corvette C3. In white, registered in the country in 2017. All nice and tidy, everything working as it should there. Proper, proper car that one. 